channel. Today I'm going to be harvesting a couple of things um, that are ready and that we're going to be using today for today's dinner. So uh, stay tuned. things that are ready to be harvested but look what we have so far some really nice chilies some basil and a couple of my cayenne pepper I like to pick them when they're green like this because they're a lot milder um, when I pick cayenne pepper that are red I tend to just use them uh, dry them and um, process them as cayenne pepper for uh, for for seasoning but when they're green like this, they're really good in some sauces. And I got my first uh, Hungarian hot wax of the season. It's a good size.
have a couple of my cherry tomatoes ready and I just have them over. I have to put this wire or else the squirrels get to them. to the sky. Beautiful. Harvest some kale. See how much we can harvest today. It's good to harvest kale right after it rains because it's nice and plump. And just harvesting what's left over of my kale. The red kale. It's pretty. I have some more banana peppers here. Okay guys, the last place that I wanna harvest from is from our garden balcony. Um, we have quite a few tomatoes ready here. So um, this is what we have so far that we harvested from the front and the backyard. We have a lot of chili, some basil, some kale, a huge cucumber, and a couple of tomatoes.
guys, another thing I want to harvest is I have another cucumber here that's ready. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty big. So let's harvest it now, shall we? Ta-da! Kind of left it on there a little long, but still good. Cucumbers are nice to pick right when it just rains so that it's nice and plump and juicy. So now I have two big ones like this. I can uh, I can quick pickle these um, in a nice um, pickling recipe that I have. seedlings started uh, from my fall garden I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting down the kale so that I can have a uh, new um, I can have room for some other crops so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest a lot of my kale in the next couple of videos so just harvesting it out We've been getting a lot of kale from the plants that I've planted this year. So uh, we've made them into kale chips, put them in smoothies, have them in salads. You can put them in soups, which is also really nice. And the more you harvest it, the more it grows. Like this kale just grows so fast and it grows so tall. I've been also spraying them with uh, with neem oil so that so that um the pests don't get to them. And I haven't been getting much pests. Knock on wood. So there we go, and it gives room for the jalapenos to grow. Alright, perfect. Alright, it's a good harvest of kale from both plants. Look guys, a couple of my habaneros are ready. Can seriously hurt somebody. Great for pepper sauce. Harvest these two. Ta da! And I'll kind of let these Apache peppers get away from me, but it's okay because I can dry these and then collect the seeds for next year. Same thing with this jalapeno. I got one red jalapeno, which I'm also going to harvest the seeds from. Guys, I think this might be my largest harvest of the season. Check that out. Wow. That looks so good. Can't wait. It's a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed that short garden update and uh, garden harvest. Please remember to give this video a big like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post another video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!